What is going on, my people? How is everybody doing? And how is everybody feeling in today, my people? Welcome back to another banger. And I'm going to be showing you all how to make the one and only Birdman, 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 Chris Anderson. This is a requested video. I wanted to make this build for like the longest, you know what I mean? I was like, man, like I wonder, oh, uh, you wanna go center for this build, my people? I'm gonna go center, of course. That's very important. And uh, he's, he's right-handed. And then next thing, jersey number is 11. So what you wanna do here is you wanna go to, you wanna go six, 10 okay because he was 610 and then you want to go 245 all right then you want to max out that wingspan very important that you max out the wingspan because you're basically going to be rebounding and playing defense and you know basically getting standing dunk so if you know who chris anderson was he was a great player very good defensive player high energy player LeBron even said that he was one of his favorite players. All right, so we're just going to get right into it. All right, so first things first, what you want to do is you want to put this shot close up to a 75. Actually, no, 78. And then you want to go to a 75 on the driving layup. Very important. And you want to go 77 on the driving dunk. And then you want to max out that standing dunk. So if you was around when Chris Anderson, AKA the Birdman was playing basketball, okay? He did a lot of standing dunks. This is going to help you. That 99 is going to help you make sure that you get a lot of standing dunks. Cause that's all he did. You know what I mean? He, he did a lot of standing dunks. So I just said, you know what? I'm gonna just give him a 99 standing dunk. Why not? Then the post control, you wanna go up to a 74, okay? The mid-range shot, you wanna go to a 60, and then you wanna go 65 on a three-point shot. So, Chris Anderson wasn't a, a shooter. Of course he wasn't a shooter. He wasn't a three-point shooter, he wasn't a mid-range shooter, but he had highlights where when he was wide open, he would shoot it and it would go in. So this is how I see it here when it comes to the shooting. When you're super wide open and people don't think that you can shoot, spark that and you're gonna knock it down, all right? So that was my logic in that. Free throw, he wasn't the best free throw shooter, but I figured why not give him a free throw, max it all the way out. Here's a trick, the higher the free throw, the more shots that, that you're gonna make at the free throw line, of course, but also, when the defense gets a defensive three seconds, you're gonna be able to shoot the free throws for all of those because your free throw is high. That's just a quick gem. Some people don't even know about that. So I had to put y'all on, all right? Pass accuracy, you wanna go 69 on the pass accuracy, my people, all right? And you wanna go 58 on the ball handle. And then you wanna max out that speed of the ball. If you watch a couple of his highlights, the man Chris Anderson had a lot of great, uh, you know, coast to coast highlights. So I said, you know what, let's max that out. So you want to go 89, then you want to go 60 on the perimeter, then you want to go 63 on the steel, and then you want to max out that block. So once again, he had an incredible knack for blocking shots around the rim in the painted area. He was a monster when it came to blocking shots, my people. Nobody could just run up in the paint doing whatever they want. Chris Anderson was locking down that paint, okay? He was a beast when it came to that. So I said, why not give him that 99 block? He was great at chase downs. He had a lot of uh, rim protecting highlights, so why not get him that 99, you know what I'm saying? Chris Anderson is not even in the game, so this is me just going based off the knowledge of how I seen him play and the things I seen him do good at, all right? So this is balance. So I don't wanna make this build too OP because I still want it to be realistic to his game. You know what I mean? So as you can see, 
the highlights of course is the standing dunk that block of course and then the speed he was really fast for a 6'10 245 player so you want to max out all of this the vert max out the vert of course his vert was amazing and then you want to put the rest on stamina that's going to give you 99 so i had to do it like this my people because i wanted to you know have all the highlighted things be what i know chris anderson for so the blocking of course 99 the standing dunk that's essential and he could rebound as well right so that's what i wanted and this build is going to be good for the park or the rec i promise you that because that 60 mid-range and a 65 three-point shot nobody's going to expect you to be to, to pull that but if they give you that pull it green it keep it moving you know what i mean so i feel like this is the perfect the, the shooting is going to be the highlight because this is going to allow you to get those Chris Anderson highlights where he was wide open and people didn't expect him to make it. This is what you're going to be able to do, all right? So, easy. First things first, super duper easy. Nothing to even think about. Stuff blocks. Chris Anderson got some crazy highlights when it came to his blocking ability. He was a beast, my people, when it came to, you know, stuff blocks. It was just extraordinary the way that he could just go from one end of the floor and just block the shot and you know it was amazing especially when he was with the heats the wing waiter and lebron oh my gosh that 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 unit was just incredible have chris anderson you know protecting the paint so stuff blocks and i would say box out wall from my knowledge and watching him play through highlights and also in real games stuff blocks is perfect and he he was good at boxing out so i wanted to give him this box out wall so you can get more rebounds so this right here chris anderson birdman all the way my people all the way all right so we're going to continue and as you can see this is basically what chris anderson was okay he was a glass cleaning lockdown don't worry about the shades of because it doesn't even matter this is to me the best chris anderson build that you're gonna get you're gonna be fast the defensive badges is incredible you know highly you know um highly defensive minded rebounding minded type of player and like i said you're going to be able to hit those wide opens if you know your jump shot it's going to be amazing so i'm not going to go over badges y'all could choose the badges that y'all want i just wanted to give you a build obviously you want to go hall of fame chase down and hall of fame protect and stuff like that but y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build if you enjoyed it just drop a like and until next time much love